Mm, I have to say I had a little bit different plan for today's video, maybe no video, <laughs> but I changed it since Sonia asked me today, Marta, could you do a video about watercolor stains painting? And I was like, what? I love the idea, I have no idea how to do it, <laughs> what's that about? But let me just do it. Doodling stain art, uh, art. I, I just thought how genius this is. So this is what I'm doing. I'm randomly painting my page and I decided to go for blue colors and some sort of um, maybe greens since I'm in pink very much in the past month, uh, weeks, well days, uh, definitely I thought okay so I'm randomly painting and then I'm gonna dry it and doodle away uh, with it. I'm looking forward to see what will happen because I think it will be interesting to see where this will take us. So I have no idea where where this is heading. I'm not a watercolor artist as you know but I think that the fact I'm a p pure beginner uh, you could do things with me I hope because we can just learn from each other and that's the plan. So I, I, I watered my page a little bit with water uh, somewhere more somewhere less and I'm just randomly adding colors to it. You Can you see? And I'm trying to make some movement and that's all. That's all I'm doing. I'm just playing with water and paint and just I have no um I have no uh what's the word plan? I have no stress if things will work or won't work. It's okay. It's a pro pro learning process. Now, for those who will ask, uh, this is a Kuretake watercolor set. This is Jane Davenport. These are Prima. I have some China set as well, which I probably will use because I love it. So, I am uh, painting random stains <laughs> and I'm gonna doodle on it. I love the idea, Sonia. Thank you so much. I have no idea uh, where we're gonna end up with this, but the whole idea is just wowzer to me. I love it. As you can see, I'm playing with the um, with the ink. I'm playing with water as well. Just here and there and looking for the movement and hoping for things to just happen itself beautifully somehow. Um, I love the colors I picked. I'm gonna grab that uh, and see. I'm gonna grab that China set. Look, I'm impressed with this China. You were asking me after a previous video. There is no name on this set. Uh, just Google for uh, in e on eBay or somewhere. Is it 24 colors or 36 colors? Uh, what are colors? The cheapest you find it's gonna be them. So just grab your chance with it. Um, I'm gonna just start, I, I will just add, you know, kind of uh, ink here and there and see what will happen. Will I have any sort of uh, movement and this is a pure experiment guys now and I advise you do so do same as I am doing. Just play around, just drag that color, just smush it away, just see what will happen. Go for it, enjoy it and just let's do some <laughs> crazy painting together. Uh, greens and blues I have right now. I'm thinking I have not that much blue so I'm gonna maybe add more and I hope to kind of maybe uh, add a little water and try to stain just like that. Can you see what happens with my ink? It's moving a little bit with my pigment. So I like that idea. Um, yes, I think I think just uh, being free in our uh, trials, it's so beautiful. Free and uh, no stress, just, you know, just just do it, just let it be, let it happen and just enjoy it. I love, absolutely adore what I see. I, I think I could easily leave it to dry and try to doodle on that. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do this. I think I see a scenery of some bushes, maybe a bit of... Uh, maybe uh, uh, like trees and a road, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, we will see after drying. I'm gonna come back to you, my sweethearts, after I dry this. 
I dried my page, so I'm gonna put away my <clears throat> my paints, and I have that ready with all sorts of uh, pens. I have the Micron, I have drawing one, I have some sta <laughs> pigment. So I have plenty here, and I will just play around with those. I'm just gonna put away my watercolors, so I will have more space now. Let's let's doodle. So what do I see here? <clears throat> I'm not too sure what I see, <laughs> to be honest. Let me just bring the camera closer to you, actually. And um, maybe I'll move that away, and like that. And you're gonna be a bit closer to see my stains. I hope you have your stains ready by now. Um, I'm not too sure what I see. It's quite... You have to have a big imagination, I'm guessing. <clears throat> But let's just do it. I'm gonna start off with this here that I see and I'm gonna just outline the shape because I do think that this one and this one looks to me a little bit like a flowery-ish thing or at least like some bit of a tree. So I'm looking for trees now. I will be trying to find some trees and of course it's um it's in between us that we see trees some other people may not see the same as you do and that's absolutely perfectly fine that's exactly <clears throat> what's uh that that's the beauty about it we all see different things i guess so i see another tree here maybe uh, so i'm gonna outline things first and then i'm gonna think for what else i'll see <laughs> Uh, and where do I see things so I think it could be so relaxing and just um, you know I actually see a map look a map here <laughs> uh, relaxing and just so simple in a way because <clears throat> I do understand that so many of us is actually trying to create those outstanding projects and there's nothing wrong with that but at the same time sometimes it happens that we are so stressed over not being able to achieve certain uh, projects certain things and it's just a little bit down for some people so it's pretty much um, I, I don't think there is any point of doing that we just have to enjoy simple things and when you play with simple things <clears throat> you start um, exploring and you start be and you will become better simply as that so my my idea my kind of um, message to you would be just just try just to think for how to uh, improve your skills by producing some sort of artworks and they don't have to necessarily be so perfect and pr precise you know what I'm gonna leave that now and I will just try to uh, maybe doodle somewhere in here more okay I have this very fine uh, delicate uh, pen so I'm gonna just do a little bit of doodling you know just very delicate, more of um, just 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 a tiny play. Can you see? I hope you can see that. So yes, by practicing simple things, you're gonna learn things. You're gonna explore and find out. And I think this is the way to go. Instead of concentrating on the finished project and how perfect it should be, I would imagine please do concentrate on a technique, on being creative and just enjoying that. So this would be my kind of uh, idea and message to you. Just do it, just try, work in magic, learn how to do simple things and explore, experiment, like this thing now. Some would say, oh it's only doodling and stained and just, there's no technique. Uh, well, there there is some <laughs> sort of technique, I believe, somewhere. I do, 
I do love experimenting myself and I do love being challenged and this was definitely challenging for me. Make some stains and then doodle on it. I think it's just a phenomenal idea. So yet again I'm gonna, Sonia, thank you for that because I think this is what I needed today. I'm gonna make that more uh, visible. I needed something quite simple, no-brainer. Uh, well, I meant to actually do my nails, to be very, very honest, literally now. So please don't look at my hands, my nails, because my nail polish, uh, my gel is way, <laughs> way uh, too long. It should be changed down and whatever. So please don't look at that. <laughs> it's embarrassing, actually. Uh, but you see, I'm, oh, I'm so into... Uh, arts and things that when I feel inspire, inspiration is knocking to my door, when there is some challenge happening, when there is a chance to create some fabulous video for you, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> That's just me. That's how I operate many times. So I wish you to uh, not look in my hands <laughs> and just ignore what you see. The plan was different. I meant to do the autumn project, actually. You should see my desk. It's monkey. It's, this is the only free space you see. It's here. That's it. There is no free space anywhere else on the desk. I'm so embarrassed that I'm not even going to show you that. I don't think my desk ever looked so bad as now. So I'm going to... I have to tidy up today. But I also am uh, finalizing kits for an online class for you guys uh, if you any of you is interested in upcoming kits um, we sold out our kits uh, the first one but I'm, I'm doing more so watch the space on my Facebook page Maremi Smollard so there is so many happening uh, but it's so good and I I'm so always feeling privileged to be able to have you guys around so if I can make a nice video for you I just go for it <laughs> and that's it I just don't think about anything else if I can just have some fun like now and as you can see as well my doodles they're not really like I'm not a doodler drawer I I, I just I, I love calling myself I'm just a crafter I love creating no matter what it is. I love experimenting and uh, uh, developing my ideas and changing things and finding out things and what can I do better, can I improve and so on and so on. So I like that. I like that idea very much. <coughs> Excuse me. So I would love you to kind of feel the same and just, I, uh, you know, like my, even my, the name of my channel, Small Art, I, like for me calling an, calling an artist, I, I still have a huge trouble with that to call myself an artist. Uh, but I like to say that I love crafting and I craft and I do loads of things in it. I'm just uh, making my, 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 my twigs, not twigs, my, my, the legs of my trees, I'm, the leg uh, longer, and uh, not longer, thicker, <laughs> more visible. But you know what I mean. Now, I wonder this process must be hugely boring to watch, but actually now I know what this reminds me, without even thinking, maybe I was inspired by Cece, Cece is wonderful YouTube lady, she's absolutely one of the most talented watercolor artists I know, she definitely, she was the one, plus uh, Lindsay, frugal crafter, of course you know them both, uh, those two ladies were the ones who have, in general, I've seen so many watercolor projects of them that I was just probably, because of them, one day I said, okay, I'm going to grab them and try. And I started playing around and enjoying it hugely, hugely, hugely. So, yes, now, the, but I'm, by looking at that, I'm thinking this actually looks very much like CC's. So, if I'm in by any chance reminding you, CC, about your creations... Please take that as a compliment. I'm I'm I, I, I'm doing it, probably in, no, definitely unintentionally. But now, by looking at it, I'm thinking, this reminds me of this girl. So yeah, um, 
she she Cece is much more uh, talented when it com talented when it comes to watercolors, and she's very smart and intelligent lady, which I love as well, in her makes, in her decisions of what she does, and how is her journey going. I love that she does lots of vlogs and chats. Uh, she always welcome her YouTube fans and friends with a mug in her hand saying hello, and I like that very much as well. Very personal touch, which is super nice. Um, so yes, guys, um, watch her out, check her out if you wish for more watercolor inspirations. Um, I love that, guys. What do you think? It's just so tiny magical for me, to me. Just a tiny bit, tiny bit magical. My this doesn't want to paint, draw. So I need to. Oops. I need something else. I ordered the new ones, so they on the way. Um, a bunch of them is ordered, so they coming far from China or whichever. So I love that. How cool is this, guys? Now we need some white for sure to add here and there. We need some white, most definitely. And. <coughs> And doodling is so therapeutic. This is wow to me. So doodle away guys, doodle away with me. Now please grab your grab your tools. Don't be afraid. Don't waste wait for a better moment. There'll be no better moment. This is your moment. Don't wait. Don't wait for a better times. They won't come. This is now or never. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, but you know. Um, I just wish you to feel that, oh yeah, I can do it, oh, I, I really can do it, because you really can, you really can do that, you know, you really can, so please, just believe in yourself, I'm, I, I, I believe in you, you can do it, stay away, make some trees, do you remember we've done the, 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 the flowers with this, um, I will give you a link below as well. This was a great video. Many of you have tried it and I do believe many of you have believed that yeah, actually I can I think I can I can do that. I can. So you know, it would be great if you could just believe you can do it. Nothing complicated I'm doing right now. It's just like it's even worse to do it in front of camera when you have no plan like myself but I really don't I really like I've lost the I've lost the worries that I'm gonna make a fool out of myself with my paintings drawings projects whichever I just hope that you will appreciate the idea I'm looking for white now guys appreciate the idea that we've done something here and there on the video which is which could be difficult oh I have my Posca which could be difficult to end up with something sorry for the noise I'm looking for uh, all my whites what do you use guys for your doodling of white tell me what do you use what is the best what is your best friend because I'm, I'm still in the look for it I have Sharpie and I like that. I have ink ink essentials. I'm not fan of that. I have this one which is what Japan Jelly Roll 08. I'm not that much fan of it either. And I have Do Craft White Artist. I'm not fan of that. I'm I'm the ne the nearest is Posca and Sharpie. But what else from those gel pens? Is there any gel pen you would recommend? White that would just write on anything. What do you use? Cause Sharpie um I like Sharpie, but I wish to be able to use other things as well. So I wish to hear your opinion. Oh no. So now I'm just adding white here and there, and just to do a little bit of. Uh, what's the word a little bit of contrast in color you know that's that's all I'm thinking just a little bit of contrast so and it doesn't leave me that much of a white as I wish oh now it does 
maybe maybe the ink has to go down a little bit I don't know now be careful I'm left-handed for some it could be hard to watch <laughs> actually but be careful when you doodle and it's not dry like Posca dry is slower than let's say any other things so you could make a bit of stamping with your hand if you're not careful so be very careful about that now I do feel of course like doing a little bit of dot work because painting drawing without dots is not completed isn't it so I'm waiting for postman very much hopefully he's gonna come to them I'm waiting for some parcels and I hear some car but I don't think it's my postman um, it's good to be in, the, in a nice relation with your postman because he will leave your parcels when you're not there I'm, I'm happy he does that for me they all do, there's few of them especially when I was away and things were coming and piling they would wait for me and they would, you know they knew I, I, I'm away so they either give it to my neighbors or uh, leave it on the back of my home or something like that which is good what do you think guys? how do you find that? how do you find the doodling that you see right now? We have some uh, trees, we have some bit of uh, sky feeling, we have some ground. We could probably do a little more and more. Uh, I leave it up to you because I think I'm pretty much done here. Um, I hope I, I gave you some bit of enc encouragement you can do it and it's a fun way to stretch your creativity, to stretch your worries to actually try and do something. Um, let me just maybe grab a, a... I had those pens. Let me just find them. Oh, maybe I'll try those. I bought them on the internet as well. I, I don't think I have ever used them. Oh, there's orange now. Orange is not that much nice for it, or maybe. But this blue one, let me see. I don't think I've used it, or maybe I did. Hmm, what if I, what if I just add some doodle with this here? You see, with Marta, you never know if, if she's just finished her sentence and or not. <laughs> Apparently I didn't. I have something to add here. Because <laughs> this blue will nicely match my rest of my painting, isn't it? Wow! I like that very much. Now, for those who ask, this is this is called Pop Art Water Base Easy to Wipe Off Fluorescent Marker. I got it on eBay again. Ideal for decorating and writing on glass, windows, board and non-purpose surface. So it's not for paper, but yes, I I have decided to purchase it anyway and see. I like testing things and I know you can sometimes end up with spending money and just being very disappointed. But I think I'm not disappointed here at all. I love that, what I see. So I'm going to doodle away, guys. I thought I'm going to finish now, but no. I will doodle, doodle, doodle away. And that blue is perfect. Let me see. I show you the other colors if you're interested uh, of purchasing those. They weren't expensive, uh, but they're not for papers. So yeah, they were in those colors. Was there a white? Oh wait, there is a green one as well. Sorry. Oh, there is a green one. So I may. So there was maybe seven colors. I can't remember if that's all. Let's try the green one. Is it, don't tell me it's already dry. I'd never used it, so it cannot be dry. Sorry. Okay. So, you know what? <laughs> if this is dry, then don't buy it. Two seconds. Let's see, because... <clears throat> I li really, I don't think I've used it, so it should be fine. Maybe it just takes a bit of time to go with the ink down. So let's wait and see. Don't lose hope, Marta. I'm going to leave it like that up. Mm -mm. No. One more shake. 
Uh, this didn't work, it's still not working, so no, it's a no-go. <laughs> but I have this, I never use that either. This is from Tiger, yeah, Tiger Shop. So they were for not much money, I'm guessing, like a euro or two or three, maybe three. And there are some colors that, you know, could go with my painting. Why not to try and see? What will happen? Well, at least, maybe before I do that, maybe I'll just... Oh, that's so nice. So it's a nice brush. It, it, um, I believe that I got it for learning how to do the... the um, you know, this lettering thing. I don't know how they do it. I have to learn but anyway this is my my ultimate goal as well to learn how to oh I like that now what will happen if I'm gonna grab my watercolor brush now <clears throat> and watercolor brush is somewhere here and when your desk is so messy of course you're not gonna be able to find things easily I'm gonna turn that a little bit guys, sorry. How can you see? No, of course you can't, you can't. Oh, and I will see, we need some water. And I will see what will happen. Will they react? They do slightly gently delicate react with my brush, just a little bit. And that's nice because I think it. I painted it a bit too harsh. So I'm happy to just drag it just a little bit, so it's a nice shadow effect here. Uh, so try and see your uh, kit's markers, like those, not even the brush pen, just the pens, color, colorful pens from school, from, from your kid's school. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty, isn't it? Simple little thing. I can do same thing here, but maybe with the blue, with the blue color. All dots are here, that's okay. I'm gonna do it on dots, that's fine. And I will try as well to kind of soften it up a little bit, just so it's not gonna be that harsh. That's nice, I like that. Okay. Mm -mm -hmm, mm -mm -mm. Love that, love that, love that. Look very much, very much. I should dry this a little bit. So I was thinking that I'm done with doodling, but no! You know what? I, I wish to do something here. I don't know why I feel like that, but I feel I wish uh, for something happening there. Um, you know, just I feel it's a little bit empty -ish right now. Maybe I could do something. <laughs> something I thought I fin I'm finished and I'm not but that's so cool <laughs> isn't it that's so actually nice <clears throat> so um I definitely wish for some doodling um exercise I need to exercise my my um what's the word my I I like this is nice what we're doing, but definitely they making some sort of uh, exercise of a different shapes and stuff like that. It would be so nice, I think. So, okay, since this was like that, where's my brush? I uh, we need to add. We need to soften this. Ah, oh, that's better. I felt I'm missing something there, <laughs> and I think I was. Maybe some kind of like a grassy effect thing. Um, no, I think I need a thick, a thinner one like this. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Something like that. Oh, I need to re redo this here. <clears throat> uh, I'm. I actually, I always, when I do them things, kind of, I'm always looking forward to your inspirations because it's going to be amazing to see 
your takes on this subject. I'm sure you will surprise me with things, you will do things differently than me uh, and I'm more than happy to see them being different and it's gonna be amazing so please as always I'm gonna repeat myself over and over again please tag me on your projects on your makes on Instagram or Facebook share it with me let me know I wish to see it I would love to see it I need to see it and others as well so using hashtag Marami Small Art helps so others can see it as well uh, plus yourself you can you know have a look what others are how others are doing and stuff things like that so um it will be nice i think it will be nice idea to just uh, it's not about competition or comparing yourself it's about learning from each other so that way when we are sharing and seeing same thing but done differently by other people it's just so inspiring and that's exactly what i wish you to do now i love it I'm sorry I'm singing silly goosey but I love that so much I'm looking forward to your stuff your mix cannot wait to see and share but can I wait to share this video already with you because <laughs> I think it's so cool so it's gonna be fun to see your takes most definitely <laughs> It's like two islands, isn't it? <laughs> More crazy and less crazy island. <laughs> and what else? I think I'm gonna add some uh, last doodles here and I'm gonna just go like that. And I will just add little dots here everywhere along the way with my paths. It's like this uh, river swimming, fl flying, flowing, whatever. <laughs> Marta, stop it. So yes, it's like this uh, road kind of uh, footpath. <laughs> it's on. It's it's like mountain, mountain. Um, you know, road for you to pass and go through. This is our secret pass. So <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna finish it that because I love it to bits so much adore it and Sonia thank you so much for your challenge for your idea it's absolutely amazing I could not be thankful more I hope this was inspirational for others and I hope you enjoyed it I hope you made some doodles let me know and if you enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to share it with your friends uh, on your social media it means so much to me so others can find some inspiration from it uh, thank you so much for your time for watching for your comments always love hearing them always love learning from them as well so anyway thank you so much i love you loads and i'll chat to you uh, soon thank you so much bye 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 till the next till the next time